Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to create and use an email distribution list in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. In order to create a distribution list for Gmail, we need to start in Google Contacts. Google Contacts can be found by searching for it or going directly to the web link shown on screen. If, like me, you're logged into Gmail already, you can also click on the square icon in the top right. You'll see that the Contacts app is one of the options shown. I'll click on that. Once in Google Contacts, we're shown a list of all our contacts. To create a distribution list, I'll move my mouse pointer over one of the contacts I want to add. You'll see that the contact is highlighted and the checkbox appears on the left hand side of that row. I'm going to click on that checkbox to select a contact. I'll use the same method to select a number of other contacts I want to add to my distribution list. Once done, the next step is to create a group using these contacts. To do that, I'll move to the top row of the Contacts app. There are a number of options shown here, but I'm interested in the Manage Labels icon. If I click on that once, an options list is opened. I'm going to scroll down that list until I get to the Create Label choice. I'll click on that once and a new pop-up box is opened. I'm asked to confirm my label name. This will be the name you should use for your distribution list. Let's quickly enter that and I'll click on the save link to confirm it. A new group has now been added to the left hand menu and if I click into that you can see that all our contacts have now been added correctly and that's all we need to do in the Google Contacts app. I'm now going to return to Gmail to show you how to use the distribution list you've just created. I'll click on the compose email icon in the top left of the inbox. A new email window then opens. I'll type in the name of that email distribution list I've just created. As I start to type, Gmail searches for the distribution list name and pre-populates it. I'll click on that to choose it. You'll see that each email address is added separately and can be deleted or new ones added, depending on how you want to tailor the distribution list. I hope you find this Waco guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.